So I think I've got a, a new smallish oil leak. And I'm at the beginning of what I was hoping was gonna be a sort of round the country trip. And it's difficult to know without taking the cowling off how bad or, or not the oil leak might be. It doesn't look to have gone any further overnight in the last 24 hours, so it may be one that's just happening when it's, the engine's under pressure. So I'm gonna try and call the engineer. It's sort of due, it, it could use an oil change now anyway. It's been about 30 hours since it had the straight oil put in after the two new cylinders went in, so it's time for a change on that. But I'm gonna have to Blackbush to do that, and that will kind of mess up my trip unless it's a quick, a quick turnaround. It's just so hard to make plans. So hard to make plans. A lot of fun inside that tent. It's Saturday morning. Just spent my third night here in the cabin at Beckles Airfield. I couldn't leave yesterday because the winds were 30 knots across the runway and there's still 25 knots. Well, the nearest ground reading is 17 knots directly across the runway, but... I love being here. It's been fantastic being at Beckles, but <laughs> I want to go. I want to keep up on my trip. I think it's going to die down a bit today and I will get out of here today, but still haven't quite decided where to go next, which is fun. Still really windy, not as bad as yesterday. Should get out okay today, people are flying. It's still windy. Basically, there's a slight oil leak coming from the cow flaps. Just a slight one. And the oil level was slightly lower than I was expecting when I left Dunk as well, so I put a quart in. And I think there's leaking a bit of oil under pressure, so I just want to check there's nothing obviously badly wrong with it. Open the cow flap. You always have a little bit of oil down here, but that's slightly more than usual. That's quite fresh looking oil. And that, all that gunk on the earlier. I rang the engineer this morning and he said, take the cow, the top cowling off, not the bottom one. The bottom one's an absolute pain to take off. It's a three man job. Well, it's a two man job, but it's a tricky one. So I'm gonna have a look and see what I can find. Nothing obvious, I think I'm being a bit overcautious. Overcautious like I should be when I'm making weather decisions. Be interesting to see how this Cessna 150, 152 takes off. So, Cessna 152 can be off the ground before the tarmac with two people inside. Oh, here we go. This is going to get harder, isn't it? So, I'm happy I can fly with that. There's a slight leak from somewhere. Um, these old engines often leak a little bit, but uh, it's a slightly increased leak. Uh, keep a very close eye on it, but I'm happy that I can fly. There's no obvious sign of anything really badly wrong under there. Um, very proud of myself. First time I've ever got the whole cowling off and on on my own. It's only the top cowling. I know it's only baby steps, but as someone who can't turn a wrench or a screwdriver without breaking something, that's a big accomplishment, a big master for me today. Um, and those, those cowling tops can be a right old fiddle to get back on, especially with the canard mount panels at the side, <clears throat> but uh, all back on, so that's really cool. You know when you feel a little bit of achievement, like, yes, I did it. So now I'm gonna go to, I'm planning to go to Sidewell. It's windy, um, but the cloud bases are okay. Visibility's good, a couple of showers about, so I'm gonna get packed up. After three nights here, it's Saturday today, been here since Wednesday. Um, it's starting to feel a bit like home, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss Beckles. Gyrocopter that I think Pat was showing me in the hangar the other day. Oh, I don't know. Just, uh, uh, a little 
little bit of healthy apprehension about my first takeoff from an un unfamiliar airfield. It, there is a strong crosswind, about 10, 12 knot crosswind, but uh, I'm gonna use 20 degrees flaps anyway, do a short field takeoff, because I should be off the ground well before I get to the tarmac, which starts just there. Chocks, locks, tie downs, covers, caps, flaps, prop, go. And Beckles Radio, November 20 Sierra. Power checks are complete and I'm ready for taxi departure. I just want to check where that inbound aircraft is and he's not on final. November 20 Sierra, uh, Roger, um, our inbound aircraft is not in the circuit. Copy that, 20 Sierra. Lining up, Romy Tissa. Beckles Radio, Golf India Juliet, just about to join your ATZ at 1000 feet. Golf India Juliet, uh, Roger. And remember two zero zero. I'll depart. I'll be departing straight out to the west and turning slightly southwest. November two zero zero. Roger. Right. Flaps, trim, cow flaps, fuel, both track trim. Right. Take off. Checks complete. Harness is closed. Golf India Juliet, downwind 27. Golf India Juliet, Roger. November 20 Sierra, taking off Romy 27. November 20 Sierra, Roger. November 1320 Sierra, uh, departing your zone and off to the west. See you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. November 20 Sierra, have a good trip. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, London information, departure message. November 1320 Sierra, there's a Cessna 182, just departed Beckles on a VFR flight to Sywell via Cambridge, requesting basic service, currently 3,200 feet, QNH 1027. November 200, 7 miles west of Beckles. November 200, Sierra, Squawk 1177 with mode Charlie, basic service. Squawking 1177 with mode Charlie, November 200, Sierra. I copy basic service. November 200, Sierra, Chatteris is active with parachuting. November 200, Sierra. Say again, please. Chatteris is active with parachuting. I'm sorry, I'm only reading you threes and I can't make out the name of the place that's got parachuting. Chatteris, to the east of Peterborough, Connington. Copy that, looking out, November 200, Sierra. Ah, Chatteris identified, November 200, Sierra. Thank you, sorry about that. No problem. So this is an unusual flight for me because I'm taking off, I've just taken off from an aerodrome I've never, never been to before, Beckles, wonderful time there. Um, so my first departure, so unfriendly departure, um, although pretty straightforward, slight crosswind. And I'm flying into an aerodrome that I have flown into once before, but many moons ago, like 12 years ago. So completely unfamiliar, I don't remember anything about so well. Um, and the main runway is no time just closed for vehicle testing. Because um, that brings in the bucks, apparently. Um, but they have grass runways available. But also, when I spoke to them on the phone, they said that if they're not testing vehicles on the runway, the runway can be made available. So hopefully, um, we might get to use the tarmac runway, but no problem if not we use the, the grass one. In, and it's pretty much into the northerly wind. Pretty strong winds up here, 22 knots, not too bad. As far as it was recently. Despite its flatness, Suffolk is, East Anglia is actually quite sort of beautiful. Just nice, just fields rolling. Good afternoon, London Information. This is Golf Bravo Sierra Kilo Whiskey. Request basic service. So, 
I'm trying to keep on using the Garmin as much as I can and stop being over-reliant on this, which is like the situational awareness version of crack. Sky Demon. You scoundrel Sky Demon. I love you and I can't do without you and it's making me a... The pilots become dependent on that level of situational awareness. It doesn't feel healthy. I mean, it is when it's working. It's brilliant. But if I lose my GPS signal or something like that, it, it can suddenly leave you feeling bereft of situational awareness. It's a problem with these technical conveniences, isn't it? They do make it safer. They do make it easier. But then your old skills atrophy. That's definitely how I feel about my old skills, such as they are. All right, free to check. Fuel on both. We're full. And we're on 14th go. I'll just lean that back a tiny bit. Radio, we're on London information. And then we're going to put Cywell in 12275. Radio engine, T's and P's, all good. Watching my oil pressure like a hawk. Because I'm just keeping one eye on that slight oil leak. Um, so pressure's still good. Bit of extra effort to make sure I've got an alternate in mind if I need one. So Honington. Cambridge, Honington, Mildenhall, Cambridge. Number 20 Sierra, turning final, runway 03, grass to land. Number 20 Sierra, runway 03, grass, the instant wind is 020, it's 12 knots. 